on your school issued iPad, tap the self-service app icon. In the bottom right hand corner, tap search. And you're going to search for WebEx. Tap the install or reinstall button next to Cisco WebEx meetings. The app will install on your iPad. Next, open WebEx Meet. The first time you open the app, you do have to agree to the terms of service and privacy statement, so tap I accept. Then you are going to navigate to either Google Classroom or Seesaw, depending on the grade level. I'm going to go into Classroom. Your teacher should have posted the WebEx link for your meeting. In this case, I'm going to go to Classwork, and I have a material called Daily Group WebEx link that I'm going to click on. Please check with your teacher to find out where to find your WebEx link. Then the instructions tell me to click on the link below to join the class virtually with the time. I'm then going to tap on Cisco WebEx Meetings, the link under Attachments. This will open the WebEx Meetings app. If you haven't logged in before, you will need to type in your first and last name. This is how you will appear in class and will allow your teacher to take attendance, so be sure to use your actual name. For email address, type in your Goose Creek Google email address. Then tap OK. It will then connect you to the meeting. Again, if this is the first time you've used the WebEx Meet app, you do need to allow access to your microphone, so tap OK and you do need to allow access to your camera, so tap OK. You can always turn these off afterwards, but the first initial install, you do need to give permission to the app to use these two systems. Next at the bottom, it will show you how to connect your audio, so tap Next. And if you were using a Cisco video device as well, so click OK. At the bottom of the screen, you can turn on your microphone and your camera with the two um, circle buttons at the bottom. And then once you're ready to join the meeting, tap join. You will then be able to interact with your class via the WebEx meeting. Your teacher may share their video as well as content in the app. If you look in the upper right hand corner, the button with the four squares will allow you to change the view. Currently, right now, the um, speaker will be showing up um, at the top of the screen with other participants at the bottom. If you tap that button one time, it'll go into grid view. Here you'll be able to see a number of participants on the screen all at once. And notice that that button has now changed. If you tap on it again, it will go back to the view with the speaker taking up most of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, you have your participant controls, your microphone, your camera, and then the button in the middle allows you to see the participant panel and chat panel. From here, you can click on the chat button if your teacher asks you to send in a message or answer a question. Additionally, if you tap on that button, there is a raise hand icon. If you tap on that, your teacher will know that you either have a question or have the answer. So um, once you are done raising your hand um, and your teacher has called on you, click lower hand. If the presenter has opened a poll, it will pop up on the screen in front of you. If you need to revisit, if you tap on the three dots, you can also um, tap polling. Additionally, you can change any settings, audio connection, or audio devices. So if you're having any issues, this is where you would need to go to help clear up those issues with audio. And the last button is the X button, and that will allow you to leave the meeting. If you are sharing a device with another sibling who needs to join a class, if you tap on the settings button in the upper left-hand corner, you can change the name and email address associated with the student.
Additionally, when you open to join a meeting again in the upper right hand corner, there is the option where you can go and change that information if you are sharing a device with a sibling. Thank you.